Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is the part 3 of videos related with benzene. In this video we are going to focus on two compounds that are aromatic compounds that contain benzenes and we are going to synthesize them starting from benzene ring. And we are going to develop a strategy to synthesize organic compounds. Ok, let's focus to the first compound. We have 4 chloro, 1 nitro, 2 propyl benzene. First we have to write this compound. Let's write it down the benzene ring. I'm writing it on this side for a reason. Ok, this is the compound that we are requested to synthesize starting from benzene. In organic chemistry synthesis, the best strategy is to work backwards. So, in the lab, of course, you cannot go backwards, but on the paper, you can go backwards. And it's very helpful to understand which group you need to remove step by step until we reach to the, to the first compound that you start the synthesis. So, let's move backwards to this compound to see what we are going to remove first. So, from this video here, you learn that uh, nitro group orients in meta position and is a deactivator. Uh, propyl group orients in ortho or para position and chlorine orients it's a, it is a de deactivator and orients in ortho and para position. I mean for this scheme here you have to keep always as a note when you are synthesizing especially with benzene rings. Ok, which group do you think that we are going to remove first? Now, in or, uh, if we remove nitro group here what remains? Remains a propyl group that orients in ortho and par position and a chlorine group that orients in ortho and par position. So it fits perfectly. Two group, those two groups reinforce each other. So we are going to remove the nitro group. So what remain? And we have, we know the reaction that is nitration, nitric acid mixed with sulfuric acid. Ok, let's move again backwards. What we are going to do now, we see that those two groups are oriented with each other in meta position. Chlorine do not orient in meta. Even propyl do not orient in meta. But what is going on here? How we are going to solve? If you remember from my previous videos in organic chemistry playlist, here you cannot do this reaction straightforward with propyl because you have carbocation rearrangement but we used instead an acyl chloride instead of a primary halogen. So what I mean with this, let's draw the benzene. Here you have this compound that contains a carbonyl group but we learned that the carbonyl compounds orient in meta direction. So, in this case, this compound is going to end in meta, so you can place easily the chlorine in meta position. So, from here, you have the chlorine here. But how you are going to reduce this carbonyl group? As we learned from my previous video in Organic Chemistry playlist, we used hydrogen in palladium catalyst. Ok, to, remove, to reduce this carbonyl group that was directly connected with the benzene ring. Be careful, directly connected with benzene ring you can use this hydrogen with palladium. Now let's move backwards again, situation, situation becomes easier. Ok, uh, what we are going to do now we need to keep this one and we need to add the chlorine, chlorination with the catalyst, iron chloride. And let's move again backwards. What do we have here? We have a benzene ring. And this benzene ring is treated with acyl chloride, in this case CH3, CH2, carbonyl and chlorine. In the presence of what? Aluminium 3 chloride as a catalyst. Ok? So one step, two steps, three steps, four steps. As you can see backwards, it's much more easier to do this kind of synthesis. It's up to you what you choose, but I highly recommend going backwards in synthesis in organic chemistry reactions. Let's move to the point B, styrene. This compound is this one. 
contains a double bond and hydrogen to fill the four bonds for the carbon. How we are going to synthesize this compound starting from benzene? Again, even in this case, I highly recommend to go backwards. Now, here come, should come in your mind some previous knowledge about alkenes. Hmm? You can check this video if you do not remember. So, in this case, you need to have a halogen. Okay? And elimination of this bromine can be done by a strong base such as potassium hydroxide in ethanol to yield this double bond. Hmm? This is tyrene. In, for example, if you want to add, for example, even to convert this to an alcohol, what you should have done? Uh, do you remember from alkenes? Uh, you need uh, alcohol at this position here, NOH for example. And if you want it here, you are going to use anti-Markovnikov rule that was with boron hydride. Hmm? Do you remember? First step, BH3 in THF. And the second step was hydrogen peroxide in basic condition. Here, you're going to get, uh, I add an extra step. CH2, CH2OH, okay? And uh, let's go backward again here, what we are going to get here. So, we need to add a bromine at the benzylic position. We learned from the previous video. In order to do that, you are going to use NBS in benzoyl peroxide to initiate the radical mechanism C Cl4 as a solvent so here you have the possibility to add the bromine at the benzylic position this position here is called benzylic position okay now in order to do in order to add this one this ethyl sure you're going to use Friedel-Craft reactions. So, CH3, CH2, Cl in aluminium 3-chloride. You notice here that I didn't do any carbonyl group or acylation here. It is not necessary because you cannot rearrange two groups. They always stay straight line. If you have a halide that contains three carbons or, or more, you have the possibility the possibility to rearrange. In this case, no need. Even if you use that, it's not wrong. Eh? Keep in mind. Okay, with this video, we end the chapter with benzene. And look forward to see you at the naming of the alcohols, because we are going to start the next video with alcohols. That is uh, an important group of organic chemistry reactions. Thank you so much for watching and hope this video was helpful and see you in the next one. Peace.